Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at the new JSA Call Utilities app by M0IAX. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we jump to the video, I've got to give a shout out to Gary. He's my latest patron over on Patreon. If you guys would like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. All right, so let's take a minute for a quick overview and look at why you want to have this installed on your system. So this is a brand new tool that uh, Mark has come out with. It's really a combination of two of his previous tools, uh, but it gives us several different options for interacting with JS8 Call. So first, up top in the blue section, we've got the GPS tools. So if we click on Get Grid from GPS, you'll see that it went ahead and pulled in my grid square right here from my GPS unit. Now I've got a couple of options here. I can either send that to uh, JS8 Call or I can transmit that in JS8 Call. So I'll just go ahead and click Send there. Now you'll also notice in this option here, you can actually set a timer to either auto update the JS8 Call grid or you can set it to auto transmit the grid every 10 minutes. So depending on uh, which way you want that to do and then you would just put a check mark here to uh, enable that to automatically update every 10 minutes. All right, let's jump over to JS8 Call and you'll see that it has updated my grid square right there. So far, so good. All right, now down in the black box down here in the bottom, what you've got is a way to send several different types of messages through the APRS system. So the first drop down right here, we've got uh, email, SMS, and APRS. So if I wanted to send, uh, let's say an email, we'll tell it normal mode, and let's send this to km4ack at arrl.net and we'll say test email. Now again, we have two different uh, choices here. We can either set that text over in JS8 where it'll just be sitting and waiting on us, or we can actually go ahead and, and say transmit with JS8 call uh, so that as soon as the message uh, hits JS8, it'll go ahead and automatically start transmitting that out. Again, I'm just gonna say set the text for the purposes of this uh, video. Now, you'll get a pop-up box telling you that uh, it has been sent over to JS8 Call. Click OK. And let's look over here and you'll see that that information is right here, ready to transmit out. So now, let's take a look at getting this installed on your system. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this Raspberry Pi, and I've got one sitting back here that's pretty much a clean install. The only thing I have running is JS8 Call in the background. Actually, I don't even have a radio hooked up to this Pi, but we do have JS8 Call running. All right, so let's open a terminal window, and make sure you're in your home directory. If you're uncertain, we can type uh, CD space tilde, just to verify we are in our home directory. First, we need to get a few dependencies, so I'm going to go ahead and paste in this command. Now guys, I'll leave all of these commands that you watch on the screen down in the description below so you can copy and paste as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the OS grid converter first. Once that finishes up, I'll go ahead and grab uh, the GPS next. And finally, I'm going to uh, install the Maidenhead that we need. Uh, for Mark's tool to work correctly. Okay, now that that's finished up, just clear that screen out, and we're going to go ahead and download his application with git clone and this web address. And again, guys, I'll leave this down in the description below. All right, if we list out our directory here, you'll see a new directory that we have. So let's move over to that with uh, cd space JSA call utils GPSD. We'll go ahead and hit return. And if we list that out, you'll see that we've got uh, a few applications in here. We need to make a couple of these executable. 
So we'll go ahead and paste in this next command, which is a chmod plus x, and then list out these two file names here. We'll press return, and then if we list that out, we'll see a couple of those are now highlighted in green. So to get this started, if uh, we're in this directory here, we can simply run dot forward slash JSA call utils gpsd dot py. We'll go ahead and press return, give it just a second, and the application will load up for us. Now let's take a look at how to update a system that uh, was built using my Buildapy script prior to this application coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And if you did use the Buildapy system, you'll have two different tools over here if you selected the M0 IAX tools for install. You'll have a GPS tool and a messenger. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick what those look like. And this is the old two apps. So we're going to uninstall these and we're going to install his latest uh, application instead. So I'll go ahead and close both of these. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to open up the file browser and let's go over to the bin directory. All right, inside of the bin directory, there are several files that we just need to get rid of. So this directory here, let's get rid of this APR, uh, APRS message JSA call PY there, the config and settings.py, the GPS listener.py, and this uh, JSA call GPS uh, UI.py. So I think that's it. And what I did, guys, is I'm just holding the control key on my keyboard while I uh, left click on each of these. That'll select uh, several files at one time. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and say move those to the trash. We'll click yes there and those are gone. So we can go ahead and just close out of this. Now in a terminal window, and I tell you what, let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. So it's a little easier to follow along at home. All right, so in this particular case, I think I downloaded this. Yep, uh, I downloaded his tools on this Pi to my downloads directory. But wherever you downloaded those files to, you want to move over to that directory. And then if we list that out, you'll see all of, uh, all of these files are here. We need to copy all of those over to the bin directory. So we're gonna use cp space hyphen r and that's just recursive so it'll grab every one of the files including this folder we're going to give it the star command right there and then we're going to give it the tilde forward slash bin let's go ahead and press return and it just dumps us right back to uh, our command prompt now if we take a quick peek over here at the bin directory you'll see that indeed it did copy all of our new files. All right, from terminal, let's go cd space tilde forward slash bin, clear that screen, and let's list out that file, or list out that directory, rather. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to update our uh, menu system here, because right now, since we deleted those files, if we click on one of these, you're gonna get an error message. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let's press Control shift t on the keyboard. That's just going to open a new tab for us uh, inside our terminal window. And let's say cd space forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash appli oh, applications. We'll go ahead and hit return. And then let's run the ls command inside of this directory. Now there's probably going to be a lot of things inside this directory, uh, but we should be able to scroll back and forth to find what we need if it doesn't come up on your screen uh, immediately. What we're looking uh, for are these two files right here, not that one over there. So uh, the js8gps.desktop and js8message.desktop. One of these we need to get rid of, so I'm going to get rid of the JS8 GPS. So sudo rm for remove JS8 msg.desktop. We'll go ahead and press return. 
So after we have removed the JSA message.desktop, we need to actually go in and edit the other one. So let's say sudo nano js8 gps.desktop. Press return and it's going to bring us into this file. So first let's change the name of this and we'll just call it um, JS8 call utilities. And the generic name will make the same thing. And right here, I'm just going to change this comment to say utility tool for JS8 call. Now, here's the important part. This line right here that begins with execute. So we went ahead and moved that application over to our bin directory. So that portion is good. This part right here, we've got to change though. So let's just start taking that out. Now I'm going to jump back quickly to the other tab just to make this easy on us. This is the file right here that we need. JS8 call utils gpsd.py. So I've highlighted it. I'm going to right click and say copy and jump back over here to this other tab where we have our file being edited and I'm going to paste that in. Now let's press control X, Y, and enter to get out of that file. And at this point, we should be able to go up to our menu. You'll see that we only have one item in the uh, list now, and it's just JS8 call utilities. So if we click on that, we should get the application to open up for us. So there's a quick look at the new utilities app by N0IAX and a way that you can install it and or update your system depending on uh, where your system's at right now. So hopefully that will get you guys up and running with Mark's new utilities app. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.